Dave Myers here, Cuckoo for Coco, and the event is underway. Where in West County is Cuckoo? When you first get up in the morning to get that brain going, you want to have your first cup of joe, your first cup of coffee. And we can help you with that with our chocolate coffee. You get your chocolate blast, you get your coffee blast, you get everything you want. And uh, all rolled into a K-Pod full of coffee, and uh, it is really, really good. But there are times when you're out and about, you're taking off, you don't know what you're, uh, you're doing because you haven't had your coffee, and you don't have any coffee. So then you can be backed up with our espresso bites. Our espresso bites are little bits of wonder covered in chocolate, tasting like coffee, and um, boy, they're really good. And not only that, if you don't like coffee, you can get them in peppermint, you can get them in orange. If you can put in the comments the proper place that we're at right now, where in West County is Cuckoo, you can win a bag of espresso bites. Well, we're out here on this mid-morning uh, day trying to find a little spot of shade. And you know, when you get to the mid-morning part of your day, you just kind of get run down. It's like in between your cup of coffee that you're, you just finished and your uh, lunchtime. So uh, what uh, we have come up with are these Vitalize products. They are protein shakes. Uh, they are a very healthy alternative to save off that hunger. With cocoa in these protein shakes, the big deal out of it is the flavanols that come from the cocoa. Flavanols are the healthy part of cocoa. It does come in two flavors, chocolate and super berry. Today I've got super berry and I've even added some more super berry, so it's super super berry with strawberries and milk. I added some cottage cheese and I whip that baby up in the blender. So every time I get into this Vitalize shake mix, I think of my friend Ruben Carrillo. He purchased some of these not too long ago and loved the stuff. Every time I talk to him, he mentions something about it. And it got me to thinking, maybe there's something to it. Do you know where Cuckoo is? Well, we're here at the, about in the middle of the day and you start to get hungry looking for cuckoo in West County. So, uh, brought along some material to make sandwiches and one of the best things to make a sandwich spread or put almond in almost anything is the uh, white chocolate honey mustard. This is absolutely delicious, so delicious that it's one of the company's top sellers. And I put it in today, uh, chicken salad. And so I'm going to have a chicken salad sandwich for lunch while we're here at our stop. And uh, do you know where we are in West County? So I'm going to um, make a sandwich. If you mix this with mayonnaise, and I'm going to do it just right on the bread here. So I'm going to mix this with mayonnaise. Sometimes it's about one to one ratio mayonnaise and, and honey mustard. But as the honey mustard is in the chicken salad, I might go a little bit light on that. So get some mayonnaise. And usually I'd mix this up in a separate bowl, but here we are in on location. Um, we're just gonna put it right on the sandwich and spread it around. And as I mentioned, it doesn't take much. One of the neat things about the products that you're making a, a recipe is it really doesn't take that much of it to give it that extra flavor so you've got plenty of recipes to go so take my honey mustard here Ooh, got a lot of mayonnaise and uh, mix it around and have enough for the another slice of course uh, you know all this stuff is not necessarily for camping but it could be just good for your everyday home you can make this uh, chicken salad ahead of time it is a uh, recipe that we have. It's got uh, 
the honey mustard, little mayonnaise. Uh, instead of salt and pepper, I put our Everyday Blend, which is another great product that's uh, relatively new. Um, it has salt and pepper and all kinds of spices, and uh, you know I've used it every day, so uh, it's in here. We got pecans uh, in here. We got um, uh, grapes. So I've got my lettuce. The lettuce for my sandwich. I'm just going to go with one big tomato there. All right, there you go. Um, chicken salad, honey mustard chicken salad with honey mustard uh, spread on it, and it's time for lunch. Dave Myers, Cuckoo for Coco. Where in West County is Cuckoo? Well, here we are at this lovely afternoon, and all of a sudden we found out there's gonna be a picnic and we gotta bring the appetizers. So, um, really, I have some make it simple appetizers here for you. Um, and I'll talk about them a little bit and then I get to eat them. So, uh, we got a uh, simple block of cream cheese. Just a little bit of block of cream cheese. I cut some a little bit because I know this is a very small party. All you do to make it uh, taste something really special is to put some of these sauces on it. You can just pour a little bit over the top. It gives it a nice pretty color. Very simple. It'll be the hit of your appetizers. So this one is a blackberry uh, chipotle sauce. A uh, very popular sauce I'm pouring over the cream cheese. And then this ever popular white chocolate honey mustard. Uh, it, you can put this stuff on just about anything, but we're gonna put it on cream cheese. Pour a little shot of this on here. A couple of things is this dip. You can modify it with uh, cream cheese. Got your honey mustard. Um, smoked Gouda cheese is great with it on a cracker. And uh, then also very good with uh, the pretzels. So that's the first choice. It's better of all you have to do is pour. So the second one I want to talk about is if it's in the summer type uh, things and you want to give a little barbecue flair to your uh, appetizer, very simple dip is the sweet and spicy cocoa dip. It's really easy. It's the equal parts of mayonnaise and sour cream. The actual recipe calls one cup of mayonnaise, one cup of sour cream, and two tablespoons of the uh, sweet and smoky barbecue sauce and put a little taste in there. Obviously, the, the more of the sauce you get in there, the more that uh, smoky sweet taste will come. So you give all the, 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 the uh, ingredients, all three, uh, um, a good spin around. And then uh, technically, when you're in a pinch, like we are here, you don't know when your guests are coming to the picnic or whatever, but if you get a chance, you need to put it in the refrigerator for about a half hour. And these two are kind of the before the dinner. Look at this, this next one can be too, but it is kind of a re very refreshing thing, especially in the summer. This is um, using the Cocoa Exchange's spiced chai tea, and this is so simple. I like this stuff, it's simple. You put, you have one eight ounce of Cool Whip or uh, some other type of whip topping. And you put three tablespoons of chai tea, heaping tablespoons. So we're gonna whip three into there. So uh, as we're here a little while mixing up dip, can you tell where Cuckoo is? We're at a very prominent place in West County. So this is the good part, the most fun part, where you get to eat. Um, I, hope, I hope my guests, if they show up, if you know where I'm at, you can come. Um, I'll show up soon, otherwise everything's gonna be gone. In the meantime, 
Does anybody out there know where in West County Cuckoo is? Hey, we're here at our next stop, and uh, I'm kind of wondering where in West County is Cuckoo, but you know I'm in this field of beautiful flowers, and it starts to make me think about, oh man, who could I give a gift to? Gift giving is one of the neatest things you can do, uh, whether it's business or personal. And you know, one of the greatest things to give is chocolate. And we just happen to have some chocolate. We've got all kinds of chocolate available. We've got uh, chocolate peppermint bites. We've got um, chocolate orange bites. We've got um, uh, cookies and uh, cookie bites. We got all kinds of bites. We got um, espresso bites. Oh my goodness, we got so much stuff, I don't know what to do. And then we got uh, hazel coffee hazelnut bites. We've got truffles. We've got um, caramel macchiato truffles. We've got s'mores truffles. We've got the big item here that make a great gift is this bar library with several different chocolate bars in it. So with all those things, sweet things, there you can make any one of them, combination of them can make a great gift. But you know what would really top it off? What would really make it a fantastic, memorable gift is the gift of flowers. Real flowers can really perk somebody up. And um, with that, let me ask you, where in West County is Cuckoo? Well, choo-choo, we're here at, at uh, one of our stops for where in West County is Cuckoo, and we wanted to take a little bit of time to stop and check our package. You know that uh, I have received several, a lot of packages from the Cocoa Exchange, and not one has ever been damaged. And now we're in the heat of the summer, and I bet you're wondering, how do they send chocolate? Well, I'm gonna show you how, and it works, because I haven't had a failure. Better yet, my Coco coach, Marcy Handler, has been doing it for a very long time, and she has never had a melted chocolate box. So let, let, let's just let me show you what's in here for their packaging. When you're, when you're sending chocolate in the summer or uh, time they think that it's gonna melt, they uh, line the entire box with this inch and a quarter inch uh, thick styrofoam. And so that keeps the whole box lined and insulated. Then, if you can see, the whole box is insulated. Just gonna, and then every time they send a glass bottle of mustard, a bottle of uh, barbecue sauce or whatever, it's always in these large bubble wrapped bags and sealed. Never had one break. And then finally, you, you wonder, well, how do they get chocolate? Well, the thinnest and the most easily melted chocolate we have is our pure dark line. And in that pure dark line, they usually put it in an insulated bag. Then they have these ice uh, ice cubes, ice packs that they, they freeze and wrap in a, a newspaper print so that it protects everything and it keeps the thing cool the whole time of the process of packaging. So with that, it brings to you the most delicate product we, I call the most delicate product we have. It's our Pure Dark Line. Uh, one of the things that the Pure Dark Line comes in are what are called these chocolate rounds. Let me uh, show you a chocolate round. Uh, they're very thin wafers. They are kind of designed mostly for tasting. Um, and uh, coming up here, we're gonna have a wine tasting with Chef Kirk that I'm gonna attend this later this month. And these thin rounds come in several different flavors. We got raspberry, we got uh, espresso, we have um, chocolate, 
and you can use them in your cooking or you can use them for wine tasting either way I put these in a gravy believe it or not so um, they're very versatile in what to use and not only that they are super good chocolate this is where those who do not like dark chocolate learn to like this dark chocolate so um, these are our, our chocolate rounds in several different flavors. Our packages are wheels well sealed. And where in West County is Cuckoo? Cuckoo's on its way to his next stop. Cuckoo for Coco. You know, after a hot day, warm day, summer day, in uh, St. Louis, one of the most favorite things to do is get a concrete. And uh, thought we'd come here, test out a concrete. Pretty popular place, pretty uh, well-known place here in West County. And see what it would be like to have a concrete with our toppings. Raspberry, balsamic vinaigrette, believe it or not. Sounds like a salad dressing, but it's good on a lot of things and I'm gonna see how it is on concrete. So I got a vanilla concrete. Thought I'd give it a try, just to see. Plain concrete, no toppings, no nothing. Yeah, it's already really uh, froze up pretty hard. So let's see, raspberry, balsamic, vinaigrette. You're putting salad dressing on my concrete. You know, I might want to do that again sometime because that's really good. And I'm not just telling you that. So it is uh, surprisingly good. If you would be interested in trying some of this raspberry balsamic vinaigrette out, take a stab at where I'm at in West County and you could win. Dave Myers, Cuckoo for Coco. Where in West County is Cuckoo? Well, we're out here in the wild, wild West County in the woods, and um, it's exhausting to get out here. And it was time for us to take a little break and you know when you take a little break, it might be a great idea to have a chocolate martini. So, lo and behold, we've brought along with us our chocolate martini mix, and we're gonna make us up a, a refreshing drink out here in the wild. And so the first thing you do to get your chocolate martini going is just so happen to have some ice. You put some ice in the, in the shaker, ice in the shaker. Fair amount of ice. Okay, we got ice in the shaker. Then we come with, it's a, a, a one to two ratio. So we're gonna put a couple of ounces of milk and about two or three ounces of chocolate martini. And then we're gonna shock the heck out of it. And this can vary on what you wanna put into it. Um, you know, you can uh, use regular milk, you can use half and half, you can use whipping cream. When that starts happening, you're starting to get it really rich. So, we're gonna go um, a few ounces of chocolate martini stuff. Now, just shake the heck out of it. This is the fun part, through the shaking. You know, it's kind of hard to find martini glasses out here in wild, wild West County, but we did it. And then we give it a nice pour. Mmm, chocolate martini. Pretty good. You know, it might be better with some vodka, maybe some rum, maybe some Kahlua, maybe some rum chata, regardless. Still pretty good, but I think I better tell the people where in West County is Cuckoo.